Hey everybody, today we are going to be making these super cute mushroom friendship bracelets. They are pretty easy to make and they end up super cute. I am so obsessed with them. But anyways, let's just get right into the supplies that you'll need to make these bracelets. So first you'll need embroidery floss. Next, you will need mushroom beads. And with these, you need to make sure that they actually have a pretty decent size hole that goes all the way through them so that it'll fit on the thread. Some of them, it'll be like a big hole on top, tiny hole on the bottom, or vice versa. So if you're buying beads specifically for this project, make sure you look out for that. Luckily, I've bought all my beads online and I get them in big like 200 bulk packs. So there's gonna be some that will work well for this project, but there's also a lot that don't. So be very mindful of that while picking out beads. Speaking of that, you'll need something to thread your beads onto the floss with. I'm just using the string that comes from strung beads that you buy at like Michael's, Joanne's Hobby Lobby, but you can also buy special tools that are made for this, or you can use like the twist ties on bread, pretty much any super durable, flexible thing that can be shaped into a V. Sometimes I also use these pliers and I just use this part right here to pull, like help pull the thread through the bead. But you can use pretty much anything you have that you, you think will work for that. And if the holes on your beads are big enough, you won't need to do that. Then you will need scissors to cut your thread, something to measure your thread with. I'm just using a basic school ruler and masking tape or something similar just to tape your project down to the table. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure out our embroidery floss. So we are going to need three strands for this. So your first strand is going to be 22 inches long. And then our next two strands are gonna be 55 inches long. So I'm just going to take the two long strings, meet up the ends, and just pull to where there's a loop. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our 22 inch strand, just like that. And then we're gonna create a loop at the end. And then pull it tight. So now we just have a loop at the end and then all of our strings. So now we are going to tape our strings down. Separate these out into three different little sections. You're gonna want your 22 inch, the super short one, you're gonna want that down the middle. And then two on this side, two on this side. And then we're gonna take a little more tape and just put it down on this middle. You wanna kind of pull it taut, put the tape down. I know you cannot see it, but you get the gist. Now I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it better. So we have two over here, two over here, shorter two in the middle. This one, this specific bracelet design is super easy to remember because you just take your left string and make a four. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit here. And then you take your right string, you're gonna go under both of these strings. So usually I'll kind of pull up on the middle string and push that through so that it goes under the middle string and your string that looks like a four. And then you're just going to pull it tight Okay, and then again, take our left string, make a four, take your right string and go under everything and pull it tight. You're gonna take your left string, make a four, right string goes under and pulls it tight. This is a super easy one to remember because it's always making a four with your left string and then going right, going under with your right string. I know many other designs you have to alternate between left and right. So it's kind of hard to remember like, oh, was my last four a left, st left string or right string? Whereas with this, super easy because no matter what, you always make the four with your left string and then go under everything with your right string. You pretty much just want to continue this pattern for about 
two to two and a half inches. I usually do somewhere between two and two and a half inches, just like somewhere in the middle of that. So is how I measure it is I'll take my ruler and I just measure from like where I've last made a knot to where like the beginning of the bracelet is. So right now you can see it's a little over, it's about an inch. Okay, so when we measure this, it's now measuring to about this line, to about there. So it's right between, like it's right before that two and a half mark. So I'm going to, you still can't see it, but I'm gonna take the tape off of this bottom string here, and then I'm gonna bring these all together. And then I'm going to make a knot pretty much like what you would do at the end of your bracelet. Now we're gonna take the mushroom bead and our little threader thing that we've made. So I'm gonna go down closer towards the ends of like where the short, the shorter strings end, just because it's easier to try to get as many strings through there as quickly as possible. I don't know if that makes sense. But you just want to have your little V of plastic or whatever you're using, and you just want to put the thread through there so that it sits in the bottom of that V. And then you're going to put both ends of your plastic through the mushroom bead and pull it through. and then tie another knot at the end of your mushroom bead. Now we're gonna separate again like we did at the very first portion of this video. Tape down here on the bottom of this one. And we're gonna continue exactly like we did when we started. Make a four with the left string, go under with the right, and then pull tight. And you're just gonna keep doing this until this part of the bracelet measures somewhere between two and two and a half inches. So it is, let's see, a little before, two and a half inches. So we're gonna take the tape off the bottom and then tie a knot, just like we did that first time, as well as same way you tie a knot at the end of any friendship bracelet. Now we can take all the tape off and we have our finished bracelet. 
These are so cute if you guys make them. Make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see what colors you guys did. Super excited about that. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to see all kinds of different things like this. But other than that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.